I'm Nick Storm, and this episode of Psychic Adventures, we're exploring the infamous Dudley Town here in Cornwall, Connecticut. The Dudley family was a cursed family that came from England. They got cursed because Edmund Dudley wanted to start a revolution and uh, assassinate King Henry, I believe the eighth. King Henry found out about this and had a, a wizard from the village put an actual curse on Edmund Dudley. Now, the curse started when uh, King Henry beheaded Ed, Edmund Dudley. From that day on, you know, the Dudley family was banished from England and they decided to, you know, camp here in uh, Dudley Town. Uh, what they did was they lived in actually these little cabins here. S some of them are as big as this. And many things happened here. Um, a lot of suicides happened. Murders happened here. Um, you know, because the curse followed them back here to Cornwall, Connecticut. The interesting thing here is you hear birds around the perimeter, but you don't hear or see any wildlife in there. They stay out of the perimeter of Dudley Town. You know, animals have more of a, a natural psychic ability. You know, psychic ability, all it is is a heightened uh, form of perception. You know, if your vision is uh, amplified, you're gonna start seeing things that normal people can't, such as interdimensional beings. And when I say interdimensional, I mean that it is a broad spectrum. Ghosts, demons, cryptids, you're going to see that. You know, when your third eye opens, you will start seeing spirits. If your hearing gets amplified, you're going to start hearing interdimensional things. Uh, animals, it's a fact that they have an altered state of perception. They do have abilities that we don't. So many times when you're in your house and your cat is chasing something that's not there, they're chasing something that really is there and you're just not seeing what they're seeing. Cats are known clairvoyants and dogs are known empaths. Dogs could also see spirits, but dogs are more of an empathic ability. Let's say you had a hard day at work and you know you, you come home and you're, you're sad and maybe you're crying, something happened, you're crying, you come home. That dog is gonna sense it and it's gonna be all over you. You know, because dogs could actually feel your feelings. Whereas cats are clairvoyants. Cats could see spirits. And that's why the ancient Egyptians used the cats. Now, the Dudley Town family here, and you know, these birds here and animals, you, they're around the perimeter, but they won't come in here because they see something that regular people can't right in, inside here. You know, it's, it's, it's a void, and it's much like being in a recording studio uh, with that muffling sensation. But, um, you know, the Dudley, I've had so much bizarre experiences here. Honestly, I believe, I mean, there's definitely strange phenomenon that goes here, but I believe that this is an interdimensional portal, a giant one. Kind of like Skinwalker Ranch has weird things happen. This is a land where it's not your typical paranormal happens here. You know, I was walking the trail one time and I could remember feeling something grab the back of my neck. I turned around and just started taking like all these pictures and in the picture you could see like a farmer like a cloud version of a farmer with a farmer's hat and it disappeared each each picture in the shot which was very bizarre there's plenty of shadow uh, beings here uh, shadow beings are, are very interesting because you know I believe the spirit takes the form of a shadow just to be stealth you know, shadow beings are much more darker than your average dark. And this place is loaded with those uh, shadow beings and all sorts of, you know, types of people report seeing cryptids here. Um, I've heard very bizarre sounds come out of here. Uh, I have seen the shadow people, you know, I was interview, videotaping one of my, my team members on my team that I'm on and in the daylight, I see a shadow man walk up to him like this and, and watch him. I, I got that. I saw that. It was very bizarre. And uh, anyway, they lived in these little shacks here and all hell broke loose here. You know, um, there was a doctor here that went completely insane. 
or mad, should I say. And this is a very, very cursed land. I often have these spirits follow me home. That's what I believe, but I often have them follow me home. Matter of fact, one night, me and my buddy were here, and miles away, a couple miles away from here, there's actually this campsite, and we like to camp. So we got a tent back there. So we, we left Dudley Town, and we drove to our campsite. We went to the gas station. It was nighttime at this point, and I'm taking pictures at the gas station of when I see, like, spirits up there, and I see these two anomalies, and they, keep, they fought, literally followed us back to the campsite. Now, as I was sitting in the car at the campsite, I took another picture, and I kept taking it, and the same two sphere anomalies uh, were appeared at the campsite. You know, I hear a noise in the bush, and this man walks up in kind of this, this old, you know, suit. And uh, we thought it was a camp counselor, but the funny thing was it disappeared while, while walking up to, uh, to my partner. So, you know, there's a lot of bizarre phenomenon going on up here. This is a very interesting bridge here. Look at how ancient it is. Um, this bridge probably dates up to, I want to say, 1820 to 1830 uh, here. Uh, apparently, there was a Dudley Town murder that happened at this bridge here. And what they did was they uh, tied the person up and let them drown with all the water uh, going in into them but rumor has it you get pushed off these bridge i've had times where i felt something grab me but i never got pushed off but rumor does have it you get uh pushed off of these this uh this bridge here it's it's very interesting as you can see it's also a very beautiful place of cascades but it's a beautiful forest but when you walk here you're going to notice that something just ain't right about this place because you know this is some type of interdimensional enigma you know this land here uh is an interdimensional uh enigma and um you know it's always a very interesting time here in, in dudley town i remember um walking down the trail and seeing a fern go like this up and down there was no wind but it was literally going up and down like it was waving by to us so I stood in front of the fern to test to see if there was wind. There was no wind. Another time I was actually walking right up here by this bridge and I kid you not, you know, this, this waterfall, it was perfectly sunny. This waterfall literally drenched us. It destroyed my equipment too. Recently, right here, we filmed this water spirit here. I, I believe it's an elemental spirit. An elemental spirit is a spirit that uses the environment around it to manifest as you could see in this picture right here we had a, a person with us and uh you know we're up in the mountain there's no static electricity here there's no wi-fi there's no radio signal there's no phone signal half the time this guy's hair stood straight up like there was some type of static charge pulling his hair up and uh you know it was very fascinating as you could see in this photo right here, you know, the gentleman's, uh, you know, hair is standing straight up. But, um, you know, this is definitely a very fascinating place. It's definitely an area of gray here. Um, you know, it's a highly sensitive and protected, you know, forest here and stuff like that. But anyway, this place is so ancient, it looks like a lot of this is part of the earth. Here we have another foundation that's very interesting. This right here is a foundation where we heard the voice of a, a woman scream, help. When we got here, we saw an apparition of a woman and it vanished. But um, there's something very weird about this. People do go missing. That's been one of the urban legends here. Um, but uh, there is definitely something bizarre about this. And uh, you know, um, Call it haunted, call it what you want. I believe something's going on. 
Thank you for watching this episode of Psychic Adventures in Dudleytown, the real village of the damned. If you have any questions regarding paranormal, it doesn't matter how weird it is, I've seen everything. Leave a comment below and keep watching us because somebody's always watching you.